Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little sweater for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old. Now, you can also make it smaller or bigger down here in the information box. I'm going to leave some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, in the information box, I'm going to leave the link to the pants that I made to match this little sweater. Now, if you prefer a written pattern, I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well okay let's get started and thank you for watching to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this number three yarn you can also use DK weight yarn now here to begin I have 60 chains this chain here is measuring about 31 centimeters which is about 12.25 inches now if you're off by maybe one or two centimeters just continue with the next step now here, to continue, what we're going to do here to these 60 chains, I'm going to add one more chain so that now I have 61 chains. Into the second chain from the hook, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. I'm just going to make one single crochet on each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 60 single crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 60 single crochets. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to join to the first single crochet like this. So right on top, insert your hook through both loops like this grab a loop and make a slip stitch now you're going to need four stitch markers for this next part here what i'm going to do first is i'm going to chain three and into this same single crochet the first one make one double crochet this is going to be one of the corners now what we're going to do is we're going to count 11 single crochets. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And into this 12th single crochet, put a stitch marker. Now I'm going to count 17 single crochets. So beginning after the stitch marker, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And into the 18th single crochet, put a stitch marker. So now here we're going to count 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And into this 12th single crochet, put a stitch marker. And now here, if we counted everything correctly, I should have 17 single crochets. Let's see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Perfect. Here, I'm just going to put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning right there. Okay, so we have, this is going to be the back panel, front panel, and then the sleeves. Okay, so here, to continue... I'm going to make these next 11 double crochets. So beginning into the next single crochet, make a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now remove your stitch marker and into this next single crochet where you had the stitch marker, make two double crochets. one and two now put back your stitch marker right in the center of these two double crochets 
And now here I'm going to make these next 17 double crochet. So into the next single crochet, make your first single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, and 17. 17 double crochets. Now remove your stitch marker and into this next stitch, the one where you had the stitch marker, make two double crochets. One and two. Now put your stitch marker back in the middle of these two double crochets. And now here you're going to continue and work these 11 double crochets, then do two double crochets here where you have your stitch marker, put back your stitch marker in the center of those two double crochets. And here you're going to finish with these last 17 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 64 double crochets, including the three chains here for this second row. Now to finish this row, you're going to go here to the side of the two chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row with 64 double crochets. Now for the third row, you're going to chain three. Now these three chains from here on will count as one double crochet. Now into this same space here where I did the slip stitch, make a double crochet. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to start using our pattern stitch. Now I'm going to do a variation of the alpine stitch. Now with the alpine stitch, you have to do a row of single crochets and then a row of front post double crochets and double crochets, but I'm not going to do that row of single crochets. I'm just going to work directly these stitches because we're going to work the stitch in the round, so there's no need for the single crochets, um, at least with this version. To begin here into the second double crochet, remember that these two here count as a double crochet. These are our um, corner stitches. We have four of them. So into the second double crochet right here, I'm going to work a double crochet right on top into the next double crochet this is where we did the double crochets so into this next one work a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next and this is how i'm going to continue until i come to the stitch marker front post double crochet, double crochet on top, front post double crochet, double crochet on top, front post double crochet, and double crochet on top. Now I have the stitch marker, so I'm going to remove my stitch marker, and right in the center I'm going to make two double crochets one and two now put back your stitch marker in the middle of these two double crochets that you just did and now you're going to work this other side so to begin each one of the sides we're always going to begin into the second double crochet of these two that we do we're always going to start by making a double crochet on top not here but here just push the stitches back a little and you'll see that the double crochet starts back here so make a double crochet on top and then into the next work a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next this is how i'm going to continue till i come to the next stitch marker front post double crochet 
double crochet on top front post double crochet double crochet on top Okay, so here my last stitch here for this side is a double crochet on top of the first double crochet out of these two. Remove your stitch marker. And in the middle of these two double crochets, make two double crochets. Put back your stitch marker. And then do the next side. So always remember that you always start on top of the second double crochet out of these two by making a double crochet on top and then a front post double crochet into the next double crochet on top and so on here you're just going to continue and finish this side i will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to start the other side i made my last double crochet on top of this first double crochet out of these two now remove your stitch marker and in the middle here make two double crochets one and two now put back your stitch marker in the middle of these two and now we're going to finish this last side so on top of the second double crochet out of these two here right there make a double crochet and then a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next and so on Continue like this for this third row and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. Up to here I have 71 double crochets. I need to make one more double crochet. This last one here is a front post double crochet so I just need to finish with a normal double crochet. So now what I'm going to do to finish every row from here on is I'm going to insert my hook right here where I have the slip stitch. Just insert your hook there and make your last double crochet. Now to finish, you're going to go here to the side where we have the three chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the third row with 72 double crochets, including the three chains. From here on, we are always going to increase by eight because we have four corners and on each corner, we always do two double crochets. So two, four, six, eight, okay? Now for the fourth row, chain three, and into this same space where we did the slip stitch, insert your hook again and make a double crochet. Here's our first increase to the first corner. Now to begin each side, like in this case, this is the sleeve, it starts right here into this second double crochet out of these two that we had. We had the three chains and the double crochet. So you're always going to begin each side by making a double crochet on top. And remember, the double crochet starts back here not here so insert your hook there and make your first double crochet then into the next you're going to work a front post double crochet on top of the next a normal double crochet into the next front post double crochet on top of the next a double crochet now if you notice the double crochets that we did on the previous row in this row we're making them into front post double crochets and the front post double crochets that we did on the previous row you're just making a normal double crochet on top and that's how the stitch goes you're just going to repeat these two rows from here on oops front post i'm going to do this until i come to the first stitch marker to show you how you're going to finish each side and now I have my stitch marker and I have my two double crochets you're always going to finish by making a double crochet on top of the first double crochet remove your stitch marker make two double crochets in the middle of these two 
here's the second increase for the second corner. Now put back your stitch marker and to start this next side you're going to begin by making a double crochet on top of the second double crochet out of these two that we have here. So pull this here and insert your hook on top and make your first double crochet and then into the next double crochet work a front post double crochet normal double crochet on top front post double crochet double crochet on top from here on this is all you're going to, to do you're just going to continue in the same way when you come here you're going to finish by making a double crochet into the first double crochet out of these two and then you're going to remove your stitch marker and make two double crochets and then start the next side by making a double crochet into this second double crochet front post normal double crochet front post and so on at the end of this fourth row we're going to increase again by eight double crochets so you should finish with 80 double crochets i'll meet you here at the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of this fourth row up to here i have 79 double crochets i still need to make one more so my last one i'm going to go here where i have the slip stitch insert my hook there and make a double crochet here at the end now i have 80 double crochets so to finish this fourth row and all the rows to follow you're just going to go here where we have the three chains and join with a slip stitch now for the fifth row and all the rows to follow you're going to chain three and into this same space where I have the three chains, make a double crochet. Now, to begin each side, you're going to make a double crochet on top of this next double crochet. And then front post, double crochet, double crochet on top, front post, double crochet, and so on. Here, I'm going to finish these stitches here until I come to the next stitch marker to show you once again how to start each side. Remember the front post double crochets on the previous row, you just do a double crochet and the normal double crochets you work into front post double crochets. That's all. Okay, so here's my stitch marker and I have my two double crochets. To finish here, I'm going to make a double crochet on top. Then right here where I had the stitch marker, you're going to make two double crochets. And then to start the other side, you're going to make a double crochet. And then front post, double crochet, double crochet, and so on. Don't forget to put back your stitch marker in the middle of these two. It's a lot easier and that's all you're going to do from here on I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do but continue watching and I'll let you know exactly how many rows remember that at the end of every row we're always going to increase eight double crochets so at the end of this fifth row you're going to have 88 double crochets and so on so continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I have a total of 96 double crochets. Now what I'm going to do for rows seven up to row 13 is I'm going to change color for every row. So I'm going to do red, white, red, white, red, white up to row 13. I should end with the red color at the end of the 13th row. And then for the rest, I'm going to make the little sweater in red. So here to do this, if you're not going to change color, then just continue in the same way up to row 13 but i'm going to change color so we're going to do the following here i join to the side of the three chains so insert your hook again and grab this new color here this is a dk weight yarn or a number three yarn so it's the same weight as the first one so just grab a loop like this and make a slip stitch now if you notice my hook it's the same size as a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook i haven't changed size it's just that i couldn't find the original one that i started with i have little hands that take things away from my uh, station here and i can't find it so now you're going to chain three and into this same space here 
you're going to make a double crochet. Don't cut the white yarn because you're, we're going to change on the next row. And then just make a double crochet, a double crochet on top of the first double crochet for this side, and then front post double crochet into the next, and then you just continue in the same way with the pattern. So this is all I'm going to do. I want to create like a striped uh, red and white uh, section here for the yoke, and then we're going to continue with the red. So continue up to row 13, and then I'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 13 rows. I have 152 double crochets. It's measuring right across here. It's measuring about 13 centimeters, which is a little bit over five inches. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to divide the sleeves. So I finished the 13th row, then I chained two. From here on, these two chains do not count as a stitch. Into this space here, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, Three. Now chain three, we're going to skip these double crochets and we're going to find the next corner right here. So right in the center, this is where we do the two double crochets. So right in the center, you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to continue here by making a double crochet on top of the second double crochet. See, these are the two, so on top of this second one, make a double crochet, and then front post double crochet into the next, double crochet on top of the next, and then front post double crochet, and so on. I'm going to continue like this until I come here to the next corner. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Okay, I have 43 double crochets from here up to here. Now I'm going to make four more. So what I'm going to do is the following here. I have the two double crochets. This is where we did the increase. So on top of the first one, make a double crochet. In the middle between the two, make three more double crochets. So now I have 47 double crochets. So here I had 43. 44, 45, 46, 47 double crochets for this front panel. Now we're going to chain three. We're going to skip these double crochets for this sleeve. And then here in the next corner, we're going to go right in the middle of these two and make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now, to begin this other side, what I'm going to do is into the second double crochet, these are the two, so into the second one on top, I'm going to make a double crochet. Then the next double crochet, this one here, I'm going to work into a front post double crochet, then double crochet on top of the next, front post double crochet, and double crochet, and so on. Continue, and I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is a front post double crochet. So here to the side where I did the slip stitch, make a double crochet. And then to finish this first row, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet, not the two chains, but on top of the first double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. Now, if you count each one of these stitches beginning here up to here, you should have 47 double crochets, which is the same number of double crochets that we have for the front panel. So we have 47 and 47. So that's a total of 94 double crochets for this first row. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work four slip stitches so that I uh, start each row from here on right here, right in the center of the sleeve. So I'm going to work a slip stitch into the next double crochet, slip stitch on top of the next, a slip stitch into the first chain, and a slip stitch into the second chain right there. Now here you're going to chain two and into this same chain you're going to work your first double crochet. Now make a double crochet into the third chain, so right here. And now I have the first double crochet for the front panel right here. So right on top of this double crochet make a double crochet and then into the next one, the second one here, work a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next, 
front post double crochet into the next and then a double crochet on top of this front post double crochet so from here you're just going to do the same thing we did for the yoke you're just going to follow the same pattern okay so continue like this and i will meet you here at this other side to show you how we're going to work these chains under the sleeve okay i finished making these double crochets for the front panel now i'm right here under the sleeve again and we have the three chains so here what i'm going to do is on each one of the chains you're going to work one double crochet that's one two and three now we have the first double crochet for this side so on top of this first double crochet make a double crochet then into the second one work a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next and then a double crochet into this front post double crochet and then from here on you're just going to follow the same pattern until we finish this second row okay continue and i will meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 100 double crochets remember that in the first row we had 94 in this row we added three under this sleeve and three under the other so that's 100 double crochets now this does not include the two chains here because the two chains never count as a stitch from here on now to finish this row go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch now for the third row chain two and now here we're going to start by making a front post double crochet into this first double crochet which is the same one where we did the slip stitch and then double crochet on top front post double crochet double crochet on top front post double crochet double crochet on top and so on from here you're just going to continue in the same way all the way around here under the sleeve just continue in the same way i'll meet you here at the end of this third row Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 100 double crochets up to here, not including the two chains. Now, I figured out a way to work this stitch in the round without having to join um, at the end of every row with a slip stitch, then chain two, and then start again the, the next row. So here, I have 100 double crochets. My last stitch here is a normal double crochet. So my next stitch here has to be a front post double crochet right there. So I'm just going to count this stitch now as a stitch because you have to have an odd number of stitch in order for this to work so yarn over right here where we have the two chains just insert your hook like this and work a front post double crochet now on top of the next you make a normal double crochet then front post double crochet double crochet on top front post double crochet and so on from here on the stitch is the same you just follow the same pattern all around so i'm going to do it this way i will meet you here i'm going to put a stitch marker here just to mark the beginning of this row i'm just going to continue working this part here in the round without having to join here at the beginning so i'll meet you here at the end of this fourth row to show you how we're just going to continue in a continuous round from here on to finish the rest of the sweater i'm here at the end of this fourth row now as i told you i'm going to work this part here in a continuous round so just to show you here this is a front post double crochet then right on top i'm going to do a normal double crochet then front post double crochet and then double crochet on top and then the rest is the same just follow the the pattern in the same way like this so this is going to be worked in a continuous round i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do from here on but continue watching i'll let you know exactly how many rows one thing i forgot to mention is that since i counted the chain here as one stitch now i have 101 
double crochets because this part here um, in order for you to work this in the round like I'm doing you have to have an odd number of stitches that's why I have 101 now I'm just going to continue like this for the rest of the sweater so I'll meet you at the end of that row okay I'm almost done with this part right here to the side where I have this stitch marker I'm going to go ahead and finish this last row my last stitch here is a front post double crochet so right next to it this next stitch I'm going to make a slip stitch I've already cut my yarn so I'm going to pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done here's the front and that's what it looks like now I'm going to measure it for you because it's kind of hard to count these rows here so I'm just going to measure it for you from the middle of the neckline here right here to the last row it's measuring about let's see it's about 29 centimeters which is 11.5 inches so now what we're going to do is I cut my yarn because I'm going to continue with the white yarn here and I finished here to the side because this is where we started doing the um, continuous round here now here I'm going to insert my hook again into that same stitch where I did the slip stitch I'm going to grab this loop I'm going to bring it through the front and I'm going to chain one into this same stitch here make a single crochet and this is all I'm going to do for this row I'm going to make single crochets all around now if you're not changing color then I would just do the slip stitch then chain one and into that same stitch there make your first single crochet and then continue with the same color so this is all I'm going to do all around so continue finish this row of single crochets and let me you at the end Okay, I finished this row of single crochets. I have a total of 101 single crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this three millimeter hook. I um, did this row of single crochets with the 3.5 millimeter hook. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to continue with this three millimeter hook. Uh, if you want to continue with the 3.5 millimeter hook, it's okay, you can do so. I want this part to be a bit more snug around the waist and that's why I'm going to use a slightly smaller hook. If you're making this sweater smaller or bigger using a different hook size, just go down half a hook size. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now this part here is going to be the waistband if you want to make it wider then go ahead and add more chains so here into the second chain make a single crochet single crochet into the next and so on until i have six single crochets Perfect. We have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have the next two single crochets. Make a slip stitch into each one. Now turn this way so that the yarn is in front of the hook. Don't turn this way because then the yarn is going to be in the back. We don't want that. So we want the yarn to be in front of the hook. So we're going to turn like this. Now we have the six single crochets here. We're going to work one single crochet into each one, but we're going to go through the back loop only. So insert your hook through the back loop of the first single crochet and make a single crochet and then just work your way up making these six single crochets. Okay, here are my six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one, turn. And we're going to work our way down making single crochets, but we're only going to go through the back loop. One, two, three, four, five and six single crochets now we have the next two single crochets not this one here kind of sort of like it's an empty single crochet but it's not this is where we did the second single crochet before we started to go up so into these next two make 
a slip stitch into each one. Now turn and we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to go up through the back loop, make your single crochets. And that's all we're going to do for this part. Okay, so we have six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn. Oops, I forgot to chain one. Don't forget to chain one and turn. And repeat the same thing through the back loop of each one of the single crochets, work your way down. Make sure you have six single crochets always. And into the next two single crochets, work a slip stitch into each one, turn, and then repeat the same thing. This is all I'm going to do until we finish this part. Now, if you have a hard time doing this and you prefer to do maybe single crochets or front post and back post single crochets for this bottom part, you can do that too. It should look nice too. So I'm going to continue like this and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to join this first row with the last row. Okay, I'm almost done with the waistband. I did my last two rows here. My last stitch here is at the bottom and I don't have any more stitches here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into the first stitch right here and join with a slip stitch so that I can finish my last two rows, these here. Now we're going to chain one and here we're going to join both sides like this. So make sure that each one of these stitches corresponds with the stitches here on the side, the single crochets. Here we have chains and here we have single crochets. So all you have to do is just go into the first chain and into the last single crochet here. You can go through both loops or if it's easier through one loop, it's fine, however way is easier. And then do a slip stitch into the next chain on this side and into the second single crochet here in the back another slip stitch and this is how I'm going to join both sides here so that we can finish this part here's my last stitch I have six slip stitches. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. And that's what it looks like. Perfect. Here's the bottom or the waistband. Now, what we're going to do is one of the sleeves. So I'm going to go ahead and come back and show you how we're going to do that next. Okay, so now that we finished this bottom part, what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I went ahead and did this side already. We're going to do the sleeve exactly like I did this side. So we're going to go right here to this side and we're going to go right under the sleeve, right about here. I have two double crochets on this side and then two on this side. So right in the middle, insert your hook and I'm going to be using this 3.5 millimeter hook. So with this hook here, grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain two, and make a double crochet into this same space here. Now the two chains do not count as a stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip this space and into the next one right here. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over again. And we're going to go right here. This is the last double crochet before we divide. So insert your hook there, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And here we have a double crochet decrease. So this stitch here counts as one double crochet. So, so far I have two. Now around the sleeve, I have 35 double crochets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one double crochet for each one of these 35 double crochets. So that's all I'm going to do here. So continue and I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. I have 35 double crochets for the sleeve plus these two double crochets here. So, so far up to here, I have 37 double crochets. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to yarn over. We have this double crochet right here. This is the last double crochet before we divide. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, and then we're going to go right here into this space. Take two loops off, three loops, close. Now we're going to make one last double crochet. So I'm going to go right here in between the next two double crochets and make my last double crochet. So now I have 39 double crochets to finish. You're just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row to the sleeve. Now for the second row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to chain two and into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch, make your first double crochet and then a double crochet into each one of the double crochets all around. We're always going to finish from here on with 39 double crochets. Okay, so continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you once again how to finish and how to start each row from here on. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row to finish this row and all rows to follow. You're just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, this is the row that you're always going to repeat. So for the third row, chain two, and beginning on top of the first double crochet, which is the same double crochet where we do the slip stitch, make your first double crochet, then continue all around just making double crochets. That's all we're going to do for the rest here of the sleeve. I'm going to do a total of 18 rows. So continue, make a total of 18 rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 18 rows here. In my last row, what I did was just join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop. So this part here is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this part. So I'm going to change to this white yarn. I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet, which is the same one where we did the slip stitch, bring this loop through the front, chain one, and here we're going to start with a front post half double crochet, a back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and back post half double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this row. Just alternate between front post and back post half double crochets. Now, if you have difficulty making front post and back post half double crochets, then you can do, I don't know, five or six rows of just single crochets um, using maybe a slightly smaller hook. So you can do that as well. Okay, so continue, finish this first row, and I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row of front post and back post half double crochets. To finish, just go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, for rows two, three, and four, you're going to repeat the same thing. So chain one, and then beginning here, this is our first front post half double crochet. We're going to work again a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post, so make a back post half double crochet. This is all we're going to do for the next three rows, front post and back post half double crochets. Now when you finish this row, you're going to go here where we have the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing until we have a total of four rows. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the sleeve here at the end. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop. So the sleeve is done, and that's what it looks like. Now you're going to do the exact same thing we did on this side for this sleeve. You're going to do it here on this other side. It's done exactly in the same way. Everything, all the rows, every single thing is exactly done in the same way. Nothing changes. So now what we're going to do is here the neckline. So we're going to turn this over this is where we were joining for every row so here if you remember I didn't join to the first row the single crochet row so we're going to do this now if you haven't started this sweater yet go ahead and join initially I was going to have an opening here but I decided to change my design so that's why we're going to, to do this so just to join insert your hook here on this side and then somewhere here grab a loop 
with this yarn that we left and just join with a slip stitch. Pass your yarn through and now it's joined and that's what it looks like. So we're going to insert our hook right here. I'm going to be using the same hook, 3.5 millimeter hook, and we're going to bring this loop here through the front and chain one. Now, one thing before I continue, uh, for my sweater, I'm going to do this row in red and the next part that I'm going to show you. So this part for the neckline is going to be in red. Um, red is a bit dark, so I, I'm just going to show you with this white yarn so that you can see easier exactly what I'm doing. But the end result is going to be in red. So all we're going to do here is into the same stitch here, I did a single crochet, single crochet in between the next two single crochets and so on. Here I'm just going to continue all around just making single crochets like this until I finish this row. At the end I'm going to have 60 single crochets. Continue and I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making single crochets all around the neckline. I have a total of 60 single crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now this part here is done. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make uh, the same thing we did here for the waistband. I'm going to do it here around the neckline. If you want to leave your, your sweater like this, it's fine, it's done, you can do that. But I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the waistband. So to do this, I'm going to change to a smaller hook, this one, the three millimeter hook. Now, if you're using a smaller or bigger hook to make the sweater smaller or bigger, just go down half a hook size from whichever hook that you're using. So here, we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And into the second chain, make a single crochet, into the next chain, single crochet, and so on. Here we're going to have four single crochets. Now into these next two single crochets, make a slip stitch. Turn. Remember we turn like this so that the yarn is in front of the hook. And then we're going to go up working single crochets. But we're only going to go through the back loop like this. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, turn, and then work your way down, working single crochets through the back loop. One, two, three, and four. Now into the next two single crochets, make a slip stitch. Turn this way and repeat the same thing. Work one single crochet on each one of the single crochets through the back loop only. And that's all we're going to do. This is exactly the same that we did for the waistband. So continue like this all around and I will meet you back to show you the finished sweater. Okay, I finished my last row. My last row is going down. So now here I don't have any more single crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here next to the chain at the beginning here and just join with a slip stitch. So just insert your hook into that same stitch and make your slip stitch. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to join both um, ends here, the last row with the first row. You can either cut your yarn and just join by sewing both sides, or I'm going to just go in and make slip stitches to join both ends here. So go through this stitch and then go through the back and make a slip stitch. Now pass your yarn through this last loop cut your yarn and pass your yarn through the last loop. And this part here is done and that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there it is. 
Now, one thing before I give you the finished measurements here around the neckline, if you feel like the neckline is a bit too small, what you can do is um, instead of using the three millimeter hook like I did, use the 3.5 millimeter hook and then make this part um, in the exact same way. Or what you can do is instead of making two slip stitches, make only one, then turn and then make your row like this um, and that'll add to the neckline make it bigger now you can choose which side you want this to be on this is where we were joining at the end of every row so this could be here in the front or if you like it can be here in the back that would be up to you now let me give you the finished measurement so from the top of the neckline here to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 34.5 centimeters which is about 13.5 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 19 centimeters which is about 7.5 inches now i forgot to measure here the width of the uh, sleeve it's measuring about nine and a half centimeters which is about 3.75 inches now from the top of the neckline to the end here the length it's measuring about 34 centimeters which is about 13.25 inches and the chest area just the top it's measuring about 26 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches so based on these measurements this little sweater here is for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 12 to 18 months down here in the information box i'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also i went ahead and did a matching pair of pants these here i already have a tutorial in my channel for these pants here they're super easy um, the tutorial that i did this with i'll leave the link up here it's a pair of pants that i did this part here is in blue and then the pants are in white but uh, I did it exactly in the same way since those pants are also for six to nine months. So you can do the same thing. And if you want to make a pair of baby booties or hats, I already have lots of those tutorials in my channel. If you like to complete the set with a pair of booties, um, you can find those as well in my channel. Just click the little lamb next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. There you can find playlist of baby booties or hats and you can just scroll down and find whichever one you like. Um, and as always, you can always make any of my garments smaller or bigger. Just check out the information box of each one of the tutorials. And there I write what you need to do in order for you to make it in a different size. So uh, this completes today's tutorial. Oh, by the way, I do have a larger version of this little sweater. For those um, wondering, this is uh, a little sweater that I did for my son. This is for five to six years old. Um, I'll try to leave a link up here. If not, just click the little lamb next to my channel name and you will find this tutorial. Like I said, this one is for a child between five and six years old, but you can also make it smaller or bigger um, from two to three years old and up to seven to eight years old. It's um, exactly the same pattern. It's just a, a larger size and a thicker yarn. So. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.